Hi Taurus, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to all my existing subscribers and a very warm welcome if you are new here. Cross watchers, you're also welcome. Just remember the rules may be reversed in the reading. Um, if you would like a personal reading, my details are in the description box below. Donations are always appreciated on the channel to keep it going. And just a huge thank you to all of you who do contribute to the channel's growth by liking and subscribing to the videos. Okay, with all that being said, I hope you're all doing really, really well, Taurus. I have pre-shuffled the deck, so we're just going to jump right into it and see what messages come out for you guys. Okay, so, oh wow. First message out, you have the sun. Well, that's an awesome start. Okay. Followed by Aladdin and the magic lamp. Followed by the nine of swords. Okay. All right. Underneath the deck, we have Cinderella. All right, let's see what's going on here for you guys. Okay, so starting off with this beautiful yellow brick road. This is the sun card in the traditional deck. So it looks like you may be starting a journey as well for some of you. This may be a holiday even that's coming to me. And uh, it's all about joy, togetherness companionship she's not alone there Dorothy so it's joy it's abundance it's creativity it's success it is starting a new journey all those absolutely wonderful things we've got going on here in the sun card and as I said I am seeing a vacation of some form for some of you here going on some form of journey on this yellow brick road okay then we've got the Aladdin and the Magic Lamp, which of course is the magician in the traditional deck. So the genie in the bottle, this is what this card is all about. Some of you may be doing mantras and or it may be beneficial for you to do affirmations and mantras and all that kind of thing to bring in some wish fulfillment here for you because you've got the, all the tools that you need. You have got the genie that has come out of the bottle, but now you need to be careful also of what you ask for. Okay, it's also all about going through the motion of getting the idea of what you want to manifest, being sparked up by that idea, then having the feeling of having that thing or whatever it is you're wanting to manifest into your life and then thinking about it and then putting it into action okay so those are all the tools those are the ones the cups the swords and the coins the earth element so some of you have let that genie out of the bottle and perhaps even some of your wishes that you've been manifesting are coming true with this yellow brick road. But there is something that you are worrying about here. With the nine of swords at the end here and the moon card next to it, there is some form of worry that is keeping you up at night. You... Some of you just may not be able to sleep. You may be having late nights. It may not just be the thought processes. It may be bad dreams that are keeping you awake, nightmares. It may also just be something that is not letting you sleep at night going on there. And then we have Cinderella, which is our fears. So something may have happened on this last full moon, which was quite a hectic full moon, I think. For a lot of us and something may be coming up in the next full moon where you are going to be needing a new dress <laughs> i know that sounds very 3d you may be going to a function of some form and getting a new outfit for that function okay and in a different sense this card is about 
your fears. So I think there's something that you are fearing that is keeping you up at night here. Okay, keeping you in the darkness. But what's interesting is you've got the sun and you've got the moon in this reading. The moon is under the deck. It's kind of hidden. Those hidden fears that you may have. But in the center of your reading, you've let this genie out of the lamp. So, you know, mantras and affirmations, you know, like the abracadabras, words, you've got to be careful of the words. You've got to be careful of the words that you use and the thoughts that you think here. That's what I'm getting. Don't manifest your fears, because if you continually think about these fears, that's what the genie is going to bring to you. Okay, so rather think about the joyful things that you are wanting to manifest in your life. That's what I'm seeing here for you guys. All right, so let's just get one or two more cards and see what else comes up for you. Taurus, if this is resonating with you, I would really appreciate it if you did hit that like button. Right, what else does Taurus need to know, please? So we have the Ace of Hearts coming out. So there's a new beginning in love for you, Taurian Collective. All right, so perhaps you are having a few fears over this new love that's coming into your life. Or a few late nights. So if it's not new love, a partnership, it can also be the beginning of self-love you know falling in love with yourself again it can also indicate pregnancy a new baby it can indicate a new pet coming into your life a new job that you absolutely love something is coming into your life that you are going to really really love you know it could even be a new home a new travel endeavor something that's going to really make your heart burst open Okay, so that is absolutely wonderful. So really you need to put your fears aside here. Perhaps that's why you're getting a dress. Because of something here with this new love. But regardless, put your fears aside so that you don't manifest that and instead rather manifest this beautiful thing that's going on over here. Okay, one more please. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so we've got the Six of Crystals coming out here. So this is all about equal give and take, basically. In this card, I see it as... You, you know, it's a team of people that are all helping each other up that mountain to get to the pinnacle of success. So there could be people that are helping you financially to get to where you need to go. Okay, this could be helping you financially to go on a travel journey, Taurus. I'm seeing that for a lot of you for some reason. Okay, so let's just get one more. I'm seeing the King of Hearts under the deck when, we, when I started shuffling now. So it could be somebody that is a water sign, somebody who is obviously older, a king, but maybe helping you out here. This could be a love partner, it could be a father figure, it could be a family member. Somebody that's really caring. Okay. Then we have the guardian angel. Now I'm seeing wings on here on the heart and I'm seeing wings here. So there is a strong connection to somebody that perhaps has passed on already. And I just want to move this out a little bit for you guys so you can see. And there is also a strong connection that you guys are having 
with your higher consciousness. You need to also consult your higher consciousness if you haven't already, if you aren't already, because this is going to help you make the right decisions and that sort of thing. There might be some educational thing that you guys are doing. You might uh, be working with children, perhaps on your travel endeavors or in general, just working with children in some capacity or other for some of you, but it just really looks like there is some consciousness, higher consciousness that is watching over you there. Okay, so absolutely awesome, awesome, awesome. It looks like you will be safe on this new thing that you are going on and you really, really need to put your fears aside. Okay, so that those aren't manifested into the scene here. You've got help from above and below. Let's put it that way. Help from the physical plane and from the spiritual plane. Um, and you're connecting beautifully here, Taurus, to the higher consciousness, to your higher consciousness as well. And there's obviously that need to do so, as I said, if you aren't already. And I'm seeing a lot of beautiful things in this reading. It really is gorgeous. The key is just not to dwell on these fears and get some sleep. Okay. So let's just pick some angel cards now. So I'm going to pick an angel card and an Atlantis card and then a crystal card. So stay tuned. And then we'll close it up. Right. So, message from the angels for our Taurus collective, please. That's it. Sign from above. Well, I mean, what did we just say? So this to me is just saying that there is really somebody in the spirit realm that is helping you out here. Okay, definitely and without a doubt. Roses may be of significance to you guys as well or from the, from the person that has passed on. So I think if you see roses as well, pink roses, there may be a sign for you there. But otherwise, anything, you know, thoughts that come to you, you may just think of that person suddenly, or you may see feathers, butterflies, anything, coins on the ground, you know, whatever is significant to you with regards to that person. Okay, Taurus. So let's move along now to a Atlantis message. Taurus, please. Right, so you got the ice age, all right? A 2000 year ice age allowed Earth to detoxify, rest, and purify so that the planet could vibrate at a higher frequency. During the Ice Age, the Intergalactic Council was able to plan the fifth and final experiment of Atlantis, heralding the Golden Age, the most glorious and spiritual time there has ever been on this planet. So, for you, it's preparation time. If you chose this card, it indicates that a time of rest and relaxation is needed. That's what we were saying with the Nine of Swords. Use this space to look within and purify your beliefs and thoughts. That's exactly what we were saying. How interesting. This is a time to contemplate or meditate on your life purpose and prepare yourself so that the new can come into your life at a higher frequency than the old. You may also just be preparing for a trip, as I said, and you really need to get your rest. The seeds of new beginnings are germinating okay so you need to go into this ice age sort of thing 
so that you can prepare. Excuse my nails, I've been painting and doing creative things. And uh, so that's that. So one last message, please, for our Taurians. This is a beautiful reading for you guys. Oh, okay, you got Seraphonite. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but Seraph, Seraph, Seraphonite. I'm connected to spirit at all times. Oh God, this is, you know, I love uh, doing cards because it comes out so beautifully all the time. And that's exactly what we were saying. You are connected to spirit. So I think some time to meditate, take some out, um, some time out to rest, meditate, connect to spirit. Make sure you're manifesting the right things into your life. Because there is a brand new beginning coming in for you that you are going to absolutely love. Okay, stay connected to spirit. Uh, watch for the signs coming in. Get your rest. Somebody is coming to help you out here. Financially, it looks like. And uh, things are looking good. Put your fears to rest, Taurus. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I wish you all so much love and light. And I will see you all again in the next one. Bye.